As many as 700 people are feared dead in the Mediterranean Sea after the boat they were on capsized. It's thought the boat went down about 200 kilometers south of the island of Lampedusa. The Italian and Maltese coast guards are now conducting a major search and rescue operation in the area. 28 bodies have been recovered so far. Paul Brennan is in the Sicilian port city of Catania and he joins us live. So tell us more about what happened and the rescue operation underway. There are some more details emerging, yes, uh, about exactly what happened uh, late last night, late Saturday night out there in the sea uh, north of Libya. According to the uh, operations room of the Italian Coast Guard in Rome, which we've been able to speak to by telephone from here in Sicily, um, what they're saying is it was some 73 miles from the Libyan coast uh, and that there was um, a, a migrant boat which appears to have been uh, discovered by a Portuguese merchant vessel. Um, the Portuguese merchant vessel approached it and it appears that the migrants flooded to, to one side of the boat destabilizing their own vessel and in doing so it capsized and uh, promptly um, they, they were all pitched into the water. Um, the numbers according to the Coast Guard, uh, let me just uh, say it's, it's 28 confirmed rescued, um, not 28 confirmed dead so far, so 28 confirmed rescued um, but the survivors are saying that there were approximately another 700, perhaps as many as 800 people on board um, and the search and rescue operation is still continuing for those people. There are some 18 ships now involved in that. The Italian and Maltese um, military, the navies, have uh, put out a distress call for all available shipping uh, to head to that area to help in the rescue effort. So there are both military naval vessels and merchant shipping are in the area um, looking for survivors. Um, and at the moment there's also one aircraft and two rescue helicopters um, which have been dispatched to the area to help in that search and rescue effort. But it does appear that a really a, a, a very serious major catastrophe has happened uh, in the sea down there just off the Libyan coast. And clearly there's something so wrong with this entire picture isn't there from the start to the finish so much so that the Pope has been speaking out as well. What has he been saying? What's he hoping to achieve? Yeah. Well uh, there has been increasing pressure over the past week as the numbers of est estimated dead uh, have started to really accelerate. Uh, in the first quarter of the uh, three months of uh, 2015, it was estimated that around 500 people had died trying to make that crossing uh, from Libya to the European coastline. Um, then, uh, beginning of last week, Monday, uh, another 400 uh, are believed to have died in one, just one capsizing alone. Now we have potentially as many as seven, even 800 people. Um, the numbers are sketchy, but it's a big number. I mean, it really is accelerating the numbers of dead. The Pope has weighed in this weekend and he said the following, he said it's clear that the proportion of this phenomenon require much wider involvement. He said we must not tire in urging a broader commitment at a European and international level. And I must also say the NGO Save the Children, which is a charity which has been actually quite prominent already here uh, on Sicily, helping uh, particularly the unaccompanied minors who, who come off these um, uh, migrant boats. Uh, today they've called for uh, urgent high-level talks at EU leadership level within the next 48 hours in order to try to address uh, this very problem. Um, the pressure from Save the Children is that they want the resumption of effectively a Mare Nostrum type search and rescue operation. That was the Italian search and rescue operation which was uh, scaled back tail end of last year. They want those search and rescue operations to be scaled back up given the scale of the, uh, the, the problems that are, are being encountered out there. All right, let's leave it there, Paul. Thank you very much. But pick up on what you were saying about the Pope, the fact that the head of the Catholic Church has now called on the international community to help with the growing problem off the Italian coast. I know Paul touched on some of these numbers, but they're worth repeating. It is important. In the last week alone, more than 10,000 people have been picked up by Italian ships. Over 450 migrants were rescued by an Italian Navy ship and taken to the port of Messina in Sicily. According to the UNHCR, there have been 900 deaths so far this year and that figure doesn't include this latest incident.